Got two pieces of pyrite right here. Well, roll them together and try to see if I can get some dust off of them. I'm gonna add this to the cell. Scrape up all your crystals and stuff onto a razor blade. Just make sure you sand the surface of the metal real good so everything adheres real good. There might be like individual crystals growing over time. This is the high voltage ignition source. That's when it's going to be pumped into the crystals. What I'm going to do is use a high voltage source and a vacuum chamber to cool it and I, I guess electrify it and let it cool under a vacuum. We're going to heat our alum up. Then we're going to add our quartz crystals and pyrite to it. You can control the heat like this. It's in this stage. I'll go ahead and dump them crystals and stuff that I made up earlier. <clears throat> if you've seen my other videos where I do stuff in a vacuum, you'll see why I use the the pyrite, the crystal, the quartz crystal is just something I added. Looks like this is ready. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the salt to it. It's just some Epsom salt. As it starts to bubble, it'll try to form like a crystal on top. You got to keep it agitated. Keep it stirred up real well. Yeah, just keep stirring it. What I'm going to do after it gets hot, I'm going to put it on the piece of aluminum which is already set up inside the vacuum chamber. I've already got a lead hook up to it. Should be real simple just to put the Solution on the aluminum lead, and then put a copper lead on top of it. Put it in a vacuum. All right.
Needed to cut that electricity on, Kurt. Okay. Go ahead and put a vacuum on it. I've got that vacuum pump turned off, but I'm still at a minus 30. It will last for a couple of days in a vacuum that deep. So, okay, we know we're in a vacuum, and I've got my high voltage leads going into. The mixture, I may have put a little bit more on the back than I did the front. And the plates may have twisted. But for the first one, I don't think this would be a bad one. I don't think they're... I don't think it's touching. But... We'll see. <clears throat> That's my voltage so far. After keeping the charge on it. What it is I got them leads in the in the glass jar. Anyway. Ain't quite a volt point seven six. It rises every once in a while. <clears throat> 